Hello everyone, hello. Hi everyone, home sweet home. Back from Arizona, and it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Come on out of the closet, Nina. Oh, it's a little hard today. Why? I don't know. You stuck? Maybe it's a oh, beautiful I look. <laughs> My beauty is keeping me. You're like a costume comedian. What do you mean? You know how like Gallagher, like Gallagher's gimmick is like he hits those water watermelons open. I think you're right, and I think that's and, the nicest thing you've ever said to me. And you, you use costumes. Do you want to tell everyone what you're wearing? You tell them while I model it. Okay, Nina. Nina is wearing. Nina's wearing a um a floral headpiece with um desert theme colored ribbons down the back. Um that she wore as a flower girl in the wedding this weekend. Her and Serena were the flower girls. Can you see? In, yeah, yeah, they can see it fine. In Megan and Danny Walker's wedding this weekend. Flower girls, we threw the petals, we had... They were really spilled gorgeous. My, spilled my cereal. They were really gorgeous. Threw petals and glitter. It was really, and the whole wedding was just so gorgeous. beautiful. I cried so much. Love is beautiful. I know some of you had said, like, well, I, I can't wait to see, to hear your readings that you did. I, I chose not to record any of the wedding. Just because, I mean, there's a videographer, so I guess I'll get it at some point. But um, I, I really, like, I really wanted to be as present as possible. And so I, I had to, I had to, you know, and I, and I knew that, like, I was on thin ice anyways. I was not sure I was going to be able to get through the readings without crying. You did a really good job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it was really... Thankfully, I stood in front of the bride and groom because had I stood where I could see... That's what I had to do for Alicia and Paul. I had yeah. to stare, look at them in the eye and do my reading, and then I cried at the end. Yeah, see, I, if I had looked at Megan... Luckily, the only person who I could see if I turned I, was I could see D a little bit. And that was, that was actually tougher than I thought because when I really lost it during the wedding was when Danny saw Megan for the first time. <gasps> Oh, oh so God. beautiful. And it was so, it was so, it was like a perfect wedding. Poor Rachel Heiligman, one of the bridesmaids, she fainted though. She fainted when she was standing there. She was there so was a, embarrassed. There was a bridesmaid boy. that was like 16 months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Katie Rex. Like maybe she was going to go into labor. You heard me talk about her the other day when I saw her. That she was but instead. I had a nervous breakdown. Rachel fainted. Yeah, she hadn't Rachel eaten fainted. all day. Or and drank. the funny thing was, Rachel and she locked before, her knees. Don't lock yeah, your knees. Yeah, bridesmaids, don't lock your knees. Rachel was the one who, before the ceremony, was making sure everyone had water and had eaten, and was like, actually said to Katie, "Make sure you've had plenty of water because I don't want you to faint." Really? And then Rachel fainted. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that amazing? It's weird. But she was fine, and she ended up being just fine. She was just embarrassed. What is that? Or from when we did sign language, there were my bookmarks. Oh. I'm really embarrassed about my stain. It's you. No one would have noticed it. I know, and I know that now. Now all I want to do is talk. So also, so Nina got to see Scottsdale, Arizona, where I'm from, this weekend. It's really, something else. You got to see lots of it. You fell in love with the desert. Oh. Yes, I did. <laughs> we tried to find Stevie Nicks' house one day, and I get. I just don't remember where it is. I saw some houses that I thought maybe were it. Yeah, they weren't though. We saw that we saw the waiting to exhale house though. Oh yeah. Everyone falls in love sometimes. Get to the chorus. Point when you exhale hey, hey, hey. shoop 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 be doop shoop 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 Remix. Hey, do. <laughs> All you Guess what do I saw? Say. Guess what I saw? A I lot. don't know that song. I know, I'm trying to save you. I'm really sorry. Guess I what love I that saw song. a lot one of time, that I've never one time, seen. Can I, we talk about something? One time, um, Nina and I had a very emotional moment one time when um, a, boy, a boy broke my heart. <laughs> and we sat in the car and I, and I, I put that song on the radio. And I, and I, and I, come on, play out, be, be, you be yelled at me. And I put Nina's hand to my chest. Tell them this part. Let's not tell them this part. 
on. <laughs> they could hear that. Nuh-uh. Well, we're going to have to check and see. Oh, you've forgotten how to do this, haven't you? What are you talking about? <laughs> you just yelled at me like Francis in Pee-wee's Big Adventure. What did I yell at you about? You went, let me tell a story! Or something. Well, what did you want to talk about? Swarrows. Yes, Nina saw Saguaro cactuses for the first time. Well, not for the first time, because you went to Sedona once. You would have but seen them But I don't remember there. seeing them like I did this time everywhere. I right. love them. It took you a couple days to learn how to pronounce it, though. You were saying things like Saguaro. 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 Yeah. Saguaro. Lucas says, you just say it like it's no big deal. It's a Saguaro. Yeah. Saguaro. <laughs> Yeah, you just throw it away. Swirl. Swirl. I met Lucas's family. Yes. You met lots of people. Like, there were sometimes that you were meeting people that I didn't even point out that I was like, well, you're meeting, like... Like who? I don't know. Just like... I don't know. I don't know, actually. Um, but sometimes it would... Sometimes... That looks like... Um, Kate Catherine Hepburn in yeah, it does. Lion in Winter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Um, so, you know what I was thinking about that's happening here in California coming up soon? The meteor shower? It's happening everywhere, but... No, I wasn't thinking about that at all. Quickly, I saw seven shooting stars on my way and you during... Were, you were seeing shooting stars all the time. It was crazy. I wonder if it's like... I mean, they're big, Liam... Leon, the Leonid, Leonid's meteor shower is coming. So that's why there's so many shooting Probably. stars? They're like rehearsing? Mm -hmm. Dress rehearsal? Dress rehearsal. Tech run. <laughs> so what are you going to say that's happening in California? Um, Pippin is coming to um, the Mark Taper Forum. <laughs> the Mark Taper Forum. And I was thinking about because we did our sign language show. You know that it's the Deaf West production and they're doing it all with sign language. Do you know that? No. Yeah. It's the same Jeff Calhoun who directed Big River, the Deaf West production uh -huh. of Big River that went to Broadway. Uh -huh. And Michael Arden, who was in it, who played um, Huck Finn in Big River, um, is playing, no, Tom Sawyer in Big River. Huck Finn. Huck Finn. I just got really confused. Um, is playing um, Pippin. Michael Arden. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait, I'm singing a song from Pippin. Everything has its season, yes. everything has its season. time. Winter. Show me a reason, and I'll soon show you a rhyme. It's wedding voice. Cats fit on the windowsill, children fit in the snow. Why do I feel I don't fit in anywhere I go? <laughs> I'm <laughs> Do you hear the way I'm singing it? Wow. Rivers belong where they can rumble. <laughs> Eagles belong oh, where they, they can, can fly. fly. That's no way that's sign language for eagles. Why do you say that? Because I don't think sign language gets that big. It's not like... Oh, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I feel like you have to keep it... Like, how, how, what if you're using the word eagle in a conversation... At, like, that's like well, the, I'm that's like if eagle. in the that's like if in the English language, the spoken language, the word eagle was really loud. So it's like excuse me. In so last language, night I was out on yesterday no, I was out on a hike and I was walking and I saw an eagle. Really? That's what it would be like. That's what it's like in sign language. If you want it to be big, you make it big. But it doesn't have. It's not. It's not big eagle. You're you're quite contrary today. <laughs> I think you're misreading my mood. What's your mood? Let's see, no melancholy. <laughs> no, I've got a lot to do today. You too. All right, I think that's the end of the show. <laughs> All right, I guess hopefully everyone will just be happy to see Gong! it. This is our hundred and first episode. Gong. Hundredth episode was on Friday. Can you believe it? What happened on the Friday one? I can't remember. I was at Kinko's. Oh yeah. Hundredth episode. Oh, and I did that crazy yeah, remix I did something version. Crazy, yeah. All right, say goodbye so I don't have to. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Hello. Goodbye. Line in winter. <laughs>